Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Phone Central. Here with a video look at MEPSX for Windows Phone 8. This is a PlayStation 1 emulator from developer Andre Botelho. Now the main way that you would get games onto your phone is with SkyDrive. Just log in, navigate to the folder that you've uploaded the ISOs to, and download them. But the game actually the emulator supports bin and ISO files of PlayStation 1 ROMs. However, not all games are compatible. Then you can store your ROMs on SD card or internally. I've currently got a BIOS file, BIOS file and Castlevania Symphony of the Night on here. Let's look at some settings real quick before we launch into the game. Your two video options are stretch and full screen. Stretch is actually basically the correct aspect ratio, the 133 ratio that you would get if you're playing on a regular PlayStation 1. Full screen is stretching the image to completely fill up your phone's screen. There's a, a CPU bias setting. By default it's on 1 uh, at this point, but apparently it should be on 2 or greater, so switched it to 2 and you can choose the PlayStation CPU speed. I've set it up to 100%, we'll see how that goes. You can also disable or enable BIOS. Interestingly, um, some games will work with it off only and vice versa. Then we have control options. This supports the MOGA Pro Controller, which is a really great feature, although I don't have one to test with. You can have two different controller skins, regular and simple. Here is regular. Games can be played in portrait or landscape. And you can uh, reposition buttons if you want. And here are the simple controls. So all the buttons are still in the same place. It just looks a little bit less visually distracting, I guess. Although I prefer the more accurate look of having it off. And that's it for options. So I've only got one game installed on here because they take up a lot of space and my phone is pretty full. It is a doozy of a game. Here we are, this is the full motion video Konami intro. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, regarded by many as one of the best games ever made. And it is a personal favorite of mine. I own so many different versions of this game. I have to create a new file. I actually started one earlier, but then the app crashed on me. Starts out with a full motion video intro. This particular intro you can skip. There's another one that you cannot skip unless you've beaten the game, which is a drag. So Symphony of the Night starts out with you playing as Richter Belmont. This is from the end of Rondo of Blood, a previous Castlevania game. Also one of my favorites. You can see right here the frame rate is a little chuggy. But there is also a lot going on. The background detail there it's a mixture of 2D and 3D. I could go upstairs, but I'm not going to. So it's slower than ideal on a Lumia 920, but still playable. And if you were to play on a 1520, or another quad-core phone, you would naturally get better performance. Alright, so having argued with each other for a while, Dracula finally attacks Richter. I'm not going to play this very well on my own. On camera, that is, but that's alright. The buttons are quite responsive, and they're in a good position. I really like the on-screen controls in uh, Andre's Sega Genesis emulator, but he has shown marked improvement here. Mostly you wouldn't be playing action games with this. I imagine a lot of people would prefer to play role-playing games. And the emulator does support Final Fantasy VII and several other Final Fantasy games. So that's a very good thing. Um, to view the full compatibility list, just head to the appropriate forum thread at the WP Central forums. That is actually where Andre maintains his list. 
Pressing the back button, you can access this little menu. From here, we have the choice to save state, or load it, change ROMs, or just reset the game, and go back to the settings. And you can change some settings without interrupting the game. You'll be able to resume right back here. Missing is a screenshot feature, which would be really nice. And if you uh, press the wrong thing by mistake, you will get booted out of the game. So that's MEPSX for you. It is a great way to play some of your favorite classic PlayStation RPGs, maybe even a few action titles if you can adjust to the controls. The performance is not perfect, but it's pretty good, about as well as you can expect running on an older dual-core CPU. And I look forward to playing this with a quad-core CPU and seeing how much it improves. And hopefully the emulator's compatibility will continue to improve over time. Thanks for watching. Read the full article at WPCentral.com.